see I look at it again here's the here's the screws we, I know the screws need to be on this side of the door the thumb turn needs to be on this side of the door not the outside okay see if I flip it around it's on the outside the screws are on the outside I don't want that I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it around and it's facing upside down the handles are still going that direction the screws are in the inside that's how I want it okay let's get you uh, over here so you can watch watch this I'm gonna pull it apart now and I'm just gonna fit it in the hole and this is a two and three eighths back set if it's two and three quarter it's all set up for that too there's two there's two side holes and I didn't show you that before let me let me show you what I'm talking about get you we'll get you right in there you see that two and three eighths and two and three quarter back set what are you talking about there okay well measure from the outside edge of the door and usually on the high side the high side is on the back side uh, well the front side of the door okay and then you would measure from there to the center from the edge of that to the center and that would be two and three eighths or two and three quarters okay this one's set up for two and three eighths but the but the uh, the hole inside you see that there's there's two different ones this one is for two and three eighths this one over here is set up for two and three quarter back set and you don't have to do anything special you just slip the the handle right on in that okay that's that's what I like too because years ago they didn't have that you had to order them a right hand left hand swing on the paddle and whether or not it was two and three eighths back set two two and three quarter back set nowadays they've made it very simple everything's universal okay so I'm gonna take that out I'm gonna slip it in there and I'm gonna put this on there and and there's some there's some nice little grooves see right there you can't go wrong where it fits it slips in between that one in between that one and Okay. I'm holding this with my hand and just kind of getting that started. See, I, I barely have that top one started at, at all. And so when I get this in with my screwdriver, I want to kind of lift up on it a little bit and just be careful and make sure it feels like it's going in straight. If I feel it binding at all right at first, I will back it out and try it again. Because once it starts binding, you can cross thread these, these little threads. They're very fine. And you think, oh, I'll just ram it in there. The further you go, you could start stripping the head out. It might not tighten the handle, and it might mess up something on the inside, or whatever. Okay. This time, I'm just gonna tighten up the bottom one. I'm gonna make it almost snug, but not, okay? Now, that's holding the outside trim. I can, I can let go of it, I can hold it, and just use both hands on the screw here. I don't have to, I don't have to hold this one like this, you know, like it did at the bottom, and go ba 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 yeah, I could just hold it here and spin it in. Okay, now I'm gonna keep that off a little bit. And then I, I kind of lift up on it all the way up. I don't want it all the way up, but I don't want it all the way down either. I want it about centered. If it's about centered, I know the latch is going straight. It's not up, it's not down. And I see where the line is, where they painted on here. And, and whoever installed the first ones, they had the doorknob sagging a little bit, and that's down too far. I don't like that. So I'm gonna lift this up, and I'm gonna hold it right like that, and tighten it down. Got the top one tight all the way. Now I can go back down to the bottom one. And see, just give it a little bit of a turn. Don't get those too much. Okay. 
Okay, now we have to change the handle, don't we? Okay. I take my little goodie here now, remember? I still have this, and I'm holding this right here. I find a little hole, push in on it, there's a little spring, and I just want to pull it out a little bit. Now I can let go of that, and I can pop this off. Kaboom. Okay. Same thing with this one. Gotta find the hole. It's a little dark back over in here. Push in on it, and I'm pulling out a little bit. I don't want to pull it out all the way because the pin that I'm pushing in might hold it. See, I gotta pull that out and pop this off. Come on. Now I can take this same handle, put it on here, because remember it's universal. It's universal. Right hand or left hand swing. Just like that, and it's on. Kaboom. And put this on straight, push, and, and I heard it a little click on there. I want to pull on that to make sure it's tight, because sometimes if you don't do that, it might pop right off, and you know you gotta push it on a little bit further. Okay, sometimes. Sometimes also the Saskatchewan might be slightly off the housing before you install it on the first time. Make sure that's pushed in all the way because if not, maybe you get it all together and for some reason it's not locking properly because I did that on, on one a few days ago and it was because the outside fascia trim, the Saskatchewan, that's called an Saskatchewan trim, wasn't pushed in all the way and I snapped it in there and then put it all together, held my breath and. Sure enough, everything worked fine. Okay, I always like to check this when I get done. Because you don't want to walk away from this door telling somebody, okay, yeah, I got it. And the first time they go to lock it, something's happening. Okay, so I always check it a few times. Okay, and now I'm going to go and we're going to work on this strike plate. If you've been watching this little series, I've been showing you how to install these paddle handles from Schlage Privacy Handles. And hopefully you've learned a few things along the way. This is my last strike plate I'm installing. I'm taking off the old one. And I'm going to put the new one on here. And I see that the paddle little part needs to be slightly adjusted. Not very much on this one. So. Let's see here if I can if I can get it. I got my pliers, hold on to this. I'm gonna tweak on that just a little bit and bend this paddle. And that that allows and that takes out the chatter of your door. I hate that. That's my pet peeve. Is having doors chatter. And sometimes at night you got a window open, you got a little breeze, and you hear the door. Good gloom. Good gloom. Oh, that bugs me. When I get out my screwdriver and my pliers and I adjust it. Now some some old some old strikes they didn't used to have this little paddle. So you might look at yours and, and be like, well no wonder I can't adjust it, Joe, because it doesn't have a paddle like yours. So you can take that strike plate in, match it up, and see what they have at the store. Maybe they maybe you can buy just the latch or the strike plate and replace that if your lock is still good okay get you situated here let's see what happens here see how that's chattering I would never just leave that door alone like that and call it good and walk away and say ah, ah forget it I, I'm not messing with it anymore I don't have time for that of course you have time for it come on do things right around here. It only takes a few minutes to do things right, you know? So, take that and I'm just going to bend this a little bit more. About like that. Do a little bit at a time and, you know, I may even have to adjust it again after this if I'm not 100% satisfied.
snug it up. Don't over tighten those screws. Okay. Hear that? Just barely. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. You're laughing. Oh, Joe, come on. Nope. I'm doing it right. The customer deserves more better. And the customer might just be yourself, might be a loved one, a family member. Okay. Whoever. Get in the habit of doing things right. Because on your next project, you don't want to slough it off. This will follow you over to the next project thinking, oh, I'm going to do that one right too. Joe does it right. He doesn't even quibble about it. He just It's just part of the project. And when I get done, it looks like a professional did it. I'm just an average Joe, just like you. If I can do it, you can do it. Look at that. Kaboom. Check it. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. Pulling on it, making sure I didn't adjust it too far. See, if I adjusted that too far, maybe this goes in and maybe it only goes in about halfway or it barely goes in and you're not, and you're not, you know, it's just barely going and you press on it and it goes in. You think, son of a gun, Joe was right. It's, I'm, it's barely catching here. If you pull hard on the door, maybe it pops off or you've got this depressed so now you have to, now you're pushing the handle down further before you can, before you get the rest of it in. You're like, something's not going on right now. You're right. Okay, so I always kind of check on that. I'm liking that. Okay, I'm calling that good. Maui, baby. Wish you were here, but because you're not, I'm bringing it to you with these videos. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.